Hello everybody, welcome to Zoologist Network, episode 3. As, you most, as, as most of you know, SeaWorld will no longer be breeding their orcas. So today on Zoologist Network, we will be talking about orcas in captivity. No, blackfish is not true. They do not collect orcas from the wild. They also don't separate their mothers from their babies. I don't know where they get that from. They confuse them with the Miami Sea Aquarium. The orca you see in front of you is Lolita. Lolita is kept with Pacific white-sided dolphins in a very small space. When orcas are bored, they they exhibit behaviors that are that they don't do in the wild and unnatural behaviors basically, such as biting the fence, banging their head up and down the wall up and down the walls or the fence, and even lying there playing dead, play, laying there in, on the ground. Wild orcas range from 40 to 60 years in the wild, but in captivity, they live, they live to up to 20 years. Some of them are stillborn and die like the second they're born. In the wild, their dorsal fins stand straight up normally. That's the normal way, but in captivity, their dorsal fins are slanted, which can, which can kill them. So, with orcas, in injuries, they get, they get wounds, which will kill which will from the concrete floors and then another orca named Kandu Kandu the fifth in SeaWorld San Diego was attacked by Corky the Corky one of the other orcas during a show and then she bled to death there are 161 orcas in captivity. 127 of them are now dead. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And and remember if you need me to talk if any animals you need me to talk about or whatnot, go down below and please like this video. And most importantly, please, 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 subscribe because it's, because I, I would appreciate it if you subscribe, please. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.